Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to Hikate's Crossing. Okay, really excited. I got this deck in the mail, and I'm instead of doing an actual unboxing, even though we're doing a, we are sort of looking at it for the first time. I wanted to undo all the packaging, get everything sorted, and go through and read the um, what all the animals are. Now, this pamphlet that comes with it is really cool, but Due to circumstances, I actually find the writing really hard for me to to really sort of focus on. So I went through and rewrote all the name of the animals in my book. So you can sort of see. Whoops, here we go. Um, let's have a look. Here we go. Um, I always do this around the wrong way. Here we go. And I went through and wrote up all the names of the animals. So I can read them clearly to you as we go through the deck. Um, basically, through. So this is the New Zealand Naturally Tarot deck. Okay, so this is the box. It's just, just, and it's just a little poker size. It's just a little deck, poker size deck. This is the artist, Angela Lemur Cat Oliver. Angela Oliver. So Lemur Cat must be her ID. So she's an author, illustrator, reader, and dreamer. So there's a little bit on the back about who she is and that which I'll read later. Oh, I hate doing this. I'll read later. Okay, so as we go through the cards, and what I want to do, when they arrived, they weren't in order. They come come from Game Crafter, which I'll get the link for you and pop it below. Um, it's very hard to find a New Zealand um, tarot deck as such. Um, I know there's the New Zealand um, tattoo one, but I thought this was kind of cute as New Zealand naturally, as it's all animals and such. So I'll go through a little bit with the animals. I'm not going to go into too much detail um, about each animal, just um, what they are basically. The fool is the flightless wicker. So he's inquisitive and eager and always keen to explore new things. Um, we have the magician, which is the European rabbit. Now, this was introduced in the 1830s, and it really affected New Zealand environment when they came, when it was um, introduced. Isn't it cute? Rabbit. Um, the high priestess is the orange... Orange? What did I write here? Oh, my God. Kick it. Tell you my eyesight. I can't even read my own writing. Orange wattle bird. Oh, kakako. Orange wattle bird. Orange wattle bird. My pen must have been a bit funny. Wattle bird kakako. Okay. So that's the high priestess. They think it's not a um, it's not around. Okay. So there we go. Now this is the Empress, which is Pukiko. Pukiko. Okay, it's almost considered a pest. Then we have the Emperor, which was introduced in the 1850s, which is the Red Deer, King of the Forest. We've got the Hierophant, which is the New Zealand Tuatara, which is an ancient survivor since the dinosaurs. Now we've got the Lovers here, which engage in an elaborate courtship. Okay, this is the Crested Griever. And they have a seasonal monogamous relationship, partnership. It's quite interesting, isn't it? So next we have the Chariot. And this is a wandering albatross, which spends its life on the wing and lands only to feed and breed. So that's the um, wandering albatross. Then in strengths, we've got a Hasked Eagle which is actually attacking um, a bush mower, okay? Because the bush mower was actually the food source for the um, Hess eagle. So once the bush mower was extinct, it didn't take long for the Hess eagle to follow suit. So they're now both extinct. Strength. Okay. The hermit is the... Noct it's a nocturnal no bird, so it's nighttime, and it's flightless, and it's called the kakapo. 
and it says it's been extinct mainly on the mainland in New Zealand since the 1970s. This is a nocturnal it's a kakapo. Okay, now we've got the Wheel of Fortune, which is a paired shag with a long, thin eel at the bottom here, you can see. And they're both waiting for a tasty meal. Okay, Justice. We've got a huia and a rat. Okay, so when the rat was introduced, um, it really went the wrong way in regards to the balance tipped the wrong way for the um, huia. And they, they were, uh, the rat was introduced in the early 1900s. Now we've got the hanged man, and this is a Nelson cave spider while he patiently waits for his meal. It's quite cool. Um, now this card here, the death card, is the European stoat, which when introduced, of course, um, changed the New Zealand bird styles Bird, the the way the New Zealand birds lived. Okay, once the stoat, the European stoat arrived, the birds didn't have it so easy. Temperance, we have the kotaku, kotaku, with care and patience. He waits for the fish so he can bring them in so they come out into the sun. Okay, this card here, the devil card. Now this is the kia. Now he's a bird that has curiosity and intelligence, and he's very conflicted with the human race, <laughs> with us humans. Okay, the tower card, we have deforestation, so that's the way the forests have been trimmed back, have been used for paper and um, pulp and that sort of stuff, all the cutting down of the forests, and made land and, you know, made cities and things like that. Next we have the star, which is the white kiwi. Okay, so this is the hatchling, the little one that's come out. So this is a white kiwi. So he's a good omen, brings new beginnings. Next we have the moon, which is about two pika pika. Two pika pika. Okay, the bats. Okay, and they are secretive and strange. And they migrated across the Tasman. Okay, then we've got the sun, which is some uh, fat little fan tail. Okay, next we have judgment, which talks about the puri puri, uh, puri, 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 puri caterpillar. Okay, he's puri caterpillar. I was going to say puri puri, no, no, not the, not the, um, not the chili, the puri. Caterpillar. Okay, and now the world um, is the creatures of the sky, and this is a turn, and he joins with the seas that are below. You can see the dolphin in right there, and it's New Zealand there. Okay, that's the world. Now we've got two extra cards with this um, deck. We've got the weird, which is the Peripatus, uh, which is the great spotted kiwi. And the ferret, so the three animals. This one, the kerry, the peripatos, the kerry, and the ferret, which form a food line and a timeline, a food chain and a timeline, should I say? And they're all predators of some sort. Okay. Next, we have the bushtail possums, which were introduced for the food trade, but the possum has created chaos and destruction. I love those. So they're quite cool little extra cards. Okay, next we go into the trees, which is all about the wands. Okay, so these you think of um, this one, I'm not going to go into too much with the meanings or anything like that. So we've got Ace of Wands, and these are all fauna native to New Zealand forests. Okay, so this is a southern beech. B E E C H. Next we've got the plaster as B. So this is all about the New Zealand forest. Okay, so this is the plaster of B. We've got the grey warbler. And she's feeding her chick, but her chick is actually a shining cuckoo. So that's the sort of mother she is. Okay, kakariki, kakariki, like a parrot. Then you've got um, bell birds. 
you've got the jeweled gecko, two bad robins, two bold robins, should I say bold, but bad, bold robins. Okay, now we've got the monarch butterfly, isn't that gorgeous? I love that. Okay, Kereru. Okay, we've got the archer's frog, little frog in there, and he carries from the back. Okay, next we have the fledgling tomtit. Okay, then we've got in the night, we've got the rifleman, the kaka, and then the tui. Okay, now we go into the waves, which of course is the um, cups, which is emotion and spirit, of course. And that's to do with the coastal fauna. So this is animals and things that live near the um, coastal. So this is water. Okay, so we've got the first one is the bladder kelp with the butterfish. Then we've got the hoyo, uh, hoyo, hoyo, which is like penguins, hoyos. We've got the sheer water, the flush ring, white faced heron, and they're flying over the fish, or celebrating with fish, hearing the fish. Okay, we've got the um, New Zealand dotterel. dotterel. Okay, next one is the spotted shag. Okay, this talks about tidal pools, and some are poisonous. Even though they might be gorgeous, just be aware. You know, but they're all sorts of things. You know, some choices might not be that positive. Okay, next one we've got the leatherback turtle. Red billed gull. Isn't that cute? Isn't that so expression. There's so much expression. I love these cards. I'm going to really look forward to really working with them. Um, we've got the Mau Maui's dolphin. Okay, and we've got the hooker sea lion. We've got Hector's dolphin. We've got an orca. And we've got sperm whale. They just need. And you'll notice that each of the suits have different colours, which is quite good because it's a bit hard to sort of know what they wear at first. So we've got peaks now, which is intelligence, mental stuff, which is swords, ear. But she also includes science in this aspect. And this is about the alpine environment, so up on the mountains. Okay, so we have start with the native broom. Okay, this is chamois. It's like a little deer. Okay, a rock wren, and he's fallen. So we don't know what's actually happened to him, whether how badly he is hurt. Okay, now we've got the mountain stone wetter. It's like a bug. Oof. Okay, now we've got the pipette. And he's hoarding his worms away from the others. Okay, we've got a blue mount a black mountain ring ringlet. It's like a butterfly type thing. The weho. Weho or feho, it depends on how you pronounce it, where you're from. Um this is like a duck. Okay, we've got the Sinbad Skink. Okay, we've got the Black Stilt. Okay, now we've got our sheep, Merino sheep, or our ram. We've got the Takahe. And we have a Kia, Cheeky Monkey, stealing a um, screwdriver. Kia Berry. <coughs> Excuse me, let me just take a drink. From there. So now we have the Queen of Peaks. Okay, so the Queen of Peaks is a New Zealand falcon, and the King is the Tear, the Tar, who was introduced to New Zealand. I'm not sure when, I'm not sure on the dates of that, you have to look that up. Okay, now we go into the coins, which is your pentacles, of course, which is Earth. And this is of the urban environment. So we begin with the daisy, which I think is really cool. Next we've got the blackbird, the chaffinch, which is quite cool. Now we've got the house mouse. Ugh. 
which are horrible and they cause such havoc. Such a mess. Okay, five is the rock doves. Okay, next we have the domestic cat. Next we have the starling. Okay, and we've got the southern ant. I have to show you that. It's the ant. Right. Next we've got the silver eye. We've got the house sparrow. Next we've got the little border collie. Isn't he gorgeous? The border collie. Then we've got the merino sheep. Next we've got the honey bee. Okay. And we've got the Hereford cattle. So that's the front of the deck. I just want to show you the back. Isn't that gorgeous? And it doesn't matter which way, up and down. They're exactly the same. So it's quite good so they can be reversible, which is quite cool without actually knowing. So that's the New Zealand naturally. I wanted to go through it quite quick. I didn't want to go for too long because they take too long to upload, of course. So now I've got to go through and shuffle. And let's have a look. Okay, Knight of Coins. So that to me is about a slow and steady progress. So I think with um, the deck, it's going to be a very slow and very steady progress. Oh, that was me just shuffling now. Okay, I think this deck is a very slow and steady progress in regards to working with this deck. And it's going to be a lot about meditation and reflection and a lot of knowledge gained through silence. So, this one here keeps calling to me. So now we have the Nine of Pentacles, and I'm sort of getting a sense of that everything is a progress. It's definitely a slow, steady, earthy progress. Okay. Now, now what did I say this animal <laughs> was? The Nine of Pentacles. You can see with the, so let's have a look. So we've got the, sh the um, sheep, so that's the you Nine, know, so he's quite. Um, oops. Okay, so we've got the Hermit, which we talked about, the Flightless Kakapo. Okay, so he's the Flightless Kakapo. And then the Pentacles, we've got all the coins, should I say. We have a sense of the sheep, of course, and the, oh, the silver eye was the name of the bird here. Silver eye, see, it's going to take a little while to learn, I think. And the silver eye, I get a scent, so here we go. Oh, it's a sense of waiting patience. That's right. I've just got in my head. I was just thinking of what was the silver eye. I think it's about waiting patiently. So this is a sense of waiting patiently for the journey to move through. So here we have the Knight of Coins, which talks, which for me is very much about slow and steady progress. The Hermit talks about a sense of meditation, reflection, um, learning in silence. Very important. In this again, I get the sense of waiting patiently. It's not a it's not a rushed process, you know. And I feel like things are going to be. It's a very this this deck is going to take me quite a while to sort of work through the animals, understand what the animals are about. Um, I think this is this, I'm going to love working with this. Oops. And here I have. The six, uh, the four of, um, four 
Ooh, this is fire. Let's make the wands. The four of trees, should I say? The four of trees. So this... Oh, the mutual broom. That's right. So the four of trees is that sense of sort of really um, celebrating who they are and what's going on. And it's a pause and it's a moment and it's just enjoying that moment. So, oops, I didn't see that. Sorry. So it's just going to take me a little while to sort of get to know what all the animals are and what they're about, especially with the names not being all in English. They are, but... I can't remember the names of all the birds and animals. I'm not really a huge, huge, even though I love animal decks. I have a real thing about them. So I really think I'm going to enjoy working with this deck, but very, this is going to be a very slow progress, I think, for me. So there we are. The New Zealand Naturally Tarot deck on Game Crafter by Angela Oliver, or the Cat. So I will post that link below. Anyway, take care and blessed be from Hikate's Crossing.